Hello, welcome to today's episode of the Open Heavens Daily Devotional. Today, May 22, year 2024, the title of our Open Heavens today is What is Your Focus? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we say thank you, we give you all the glory, we honor you, we adore you, and we enthrone you for all that you have done in our lives. Father, be exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that even as we study your word today, Father, speak to us in the name of Jesus. Let your word profit us in the name of Jesus. And at the end of it all, let us have cause to glorify your name in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Our memory verse for today is taken from Colossians chapter 3 verse 2. And it says, Set your affections on things above not on things on the heart. And our Bible passage is taken from Colossians chapter 3, from verse 1 to 4. I read from the New Living Translation. Since you have been raised to life with Christ, set your sight on the realities of heaven, where Christ sits in the place of honor, at God's right hand. Think about the things of heaven, not the things of earth. For you died to this life, and your real life is hidden with Christ in God. And when Christ, who is your life, is revealed to the whole world, you will share in all his glory. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go into the open heavens as written by our Father in the Lord. From my experience as a lecturer before going into full-time ministry, I know that in a class, not everyone's focus is on, the, is on understanding what is being taught. Some students are focused on the teacher's clothes, some on how we talks, others on impressing od- other students, and so on. What is worthy of note is that those who focus on less important things lose a whole lot in the end. This same thing plays out in God's kingdom. Many Christians do not focus on the right things. All some Christians want from God is a new car, a new house, a promotion, and so on. I pity such Christians because they might get what they are focused on but lose out on the most important things they have ignored. Jesus Christ said that you should seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all other things shall be added to you. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. In other words, if you just focus on making it to heaven by being righteous here on earth, cars, houses, and other material things will automatically come your way. I am a living testimony of what Jesus said in this verse of scripture. I set my focus on the kingdom of God and his righteousness and now i can't count how many of these other things i have the best part is that i am also on my way to heaven why focus on things that are temporary instead of things that are eternal focus on the eternal things and the temporary things will follow many people never reach the heights that god has ordained for them because somewhere along the line they take their focus away from heaven and start pursuing material things their prayers change from lord help me to love you more to lord give me this and that you need to remember that when the role is called up yonder none of these things will matter anymore ask anyone who have who has had a near death experience And they will tell you that material things, as flashy as they may seem, are not worth all the attention given to them. From now on, make Paul's admonition in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18 your lifestyle. Why we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen? For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank God for the word he has sent to us today through our Father in the Lord. 
that says that what is your focus? Our Father and the Lord is asking us today, what our focus is? What do you focus on? Your attention. What do you give your attention? And our Father and the Lord is encouraging us today that we should set our heart on things that are above, not on things of this earth. What is our focus? Why are you working? Are you working in order to gain the flashy things of the world? Why are we doing the things we do? Where is our focus? You know, many times people will come to church, people will sit down, pray, worship, and do all sorts of things in the church to in a bid to let me say they do all sorts of things, and we most times want to assume that all of us are focused on God. But the reality is that beyond all the physical things we can see people do in church, the people who are truly focused on God know themselves and God also know them. So today we are calling, her Father and the Lord is calling on us that we should focus on God. That we should always remember that God has promised. Jesus Christ said it, that seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Not just seeking the kingdom of God, seek the righteousness of God and every other thing shall be added unto you. Jesus Christ told his disciples, he said, see the lilies, those lilies, see them. Do they think of what they will heat or wear? But yes, they are well dressed and beautifully colored. That was when Jesus was talking about the disciples, about them, about the fact that they shouldn't worry about things. Do not worry. Do not give yourself to worry. So let your focus be on God. And then when your focus is on God, everything that God has automatically becomes yours. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our reflection for today. Search your heart. What really are you focused on? And our hymn for today is in 10. In Christ alone, in Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my life, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, the solid ground, firm to the fiercest drought and storm. What height of love, what depth of peace, when fears are stilled, when striving cease, my comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. And our Bible in one year is taken from Nehemiah chapter 8 to 10. Thank you very much for listening to today's episode. Don't forget to share this podcast with your friends and family. And remember, Jesus loves you. Have a great day and God bless you.